Hey guys, Doc Valentino here. Uh, I got a new external hard drive, so I'm going to be giving that a test today. I'll do a little bit of an unboxing first, uh, and then we'll do some comparisons. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give this video a like, and, uh, and give me some support. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. So, what we have here is the uh, Samsung Portable Solid State Drive T7. Uh, it's one terabyte. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, and Android. Uh, it's portable, it's lightweight, it is very lightweight. It seems like it's pretty small, it's a small box. Um, it does have password protection and stuff like that. Uh, on this side it does tell you that it's a three year limited warranty. Um, compatible for PC, phones, and other devices. It does have uh, software, it says it's compatible for Windows 7 and higher, Mac OS 10.10 .10 and higher, and Android 5.1 and higher. Um, and then in the box, it says you get the drive. It has two different cables in it. There's a USB-C to A, and a USB-C to C cable. Uh, there's a quick start guide and warranty statement in there. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so. Uh, that's just the cable itself. I don't even know where the drive is here. It's a complicated box here to open it. And look at this guy. It's a tiny little one terabyte drive. That thing is nice. Uh, it's a sharp little thing. Uh, put it in perspective here. I have, I have a mouse uh, for the computer. And look at the size of that thing. It's a Nice, it's super thin. Uh, there's a little box here for the cables. That's where your booklet is here. Um, quick start guide. Uh, it's got a bunch of different languages in it, it looks like. Uh, and there's your uh, USB-C to A cable. And then your USB-C to C cable uh, for the drive. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, it made the sound like it recognized it. I have not seen anything pop up quite yet. I'll go ahead and check my folders here, see if it showed up here. Uh, and it did, it looks like it recognized it. Uh, it doesn't look like it really needed to do anything uh, to get running here, so. Uh, let's see if I could just copy a file to it. like it did okay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and launch crystal disk here uh, and, I, and I'm gonna pick here so we have a, a few drives here so this is my solid state internal drive uh, this is my uh, 7200 rpm internal drive uh, and then this is this is the Samsung external drive that we're taking a look at here today so I'm gonna go ahead and run just a sequential speed test. Uh, that's gonna be your fastest one. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that speed test on all three, uh, and we'll do a little bit of a comparison. Okay, so it seems that the read speed is quite fast on that solid state drive over 1500 uh, megabytes per second. So uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. We're going to go ahead and go to the uh, 7200 RPM uh, disk here and we'll run the same test. Okay, so one thing you'll notice is that the read speed and the write speed are, are pretty darn close, almost identical uh, to each other on that, that drive. Uh, you also notice that that read speed is over 10 times slower uh, than it is on the internal solid state drive. Uh, although the write speed is not 10 times lower, it's uh, a little less than half, I think, uh, of the other one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the external solid state drive.
Okay, so you'll notice that the read and write speed are both significantly higher than the 7200 RPM internal drive. Um, the read speed isn't quite as, as up to par as the internal solid state drive, uh, but the write speed is um, is better. So uh, if you're if you're looking to save stuff to take on the go with you, um, it's a pretty efficient drive. Overall, I, I think it's a, it's a pretty quick little drive, and it's super small, so it's very portable. Um, doesn't have any moving parts in it, um, so I, I would highly recommend it.